everyone, welcome back to Bees and Fields Early Years Home Learning. Today we are going to be learning phonics and it is really important to learn phonics because it helps us with our reading and our writing. So you can get your um, phoneme mats out of your home learning packs at home, you can go through them with a sibling, with a parent, you can start from the end and go backwards, you can start in the middle and you can make sure that you um, say the grapheme out loud and you could do the actions as well. You can also join in with Miss Johnson now. As I show you the grapheme up on the screen, please make sure you say the sound out loud back at home. Let's get started. Z. E. I. Air, k, e, 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 t, u, e, a. Er, oi, o, z, v, n, ow, o, ia, k, o, o, a, O, O, Y, H, N, K, B, D, G, N, A, U. Okay, so our phoneme of the day today is z, z for zebra and the action is doing the stripes down your chest as if you are a zebra. So z for zebra. So my phoneme is z, my name is, I bet you know this one, last one of the alphabet, it's Z. Okay, so it's z for zebra or there's other words like zoom, zap. Um, zigzag, um, there's lots of words that start with z. Sometimes you'll find um, the digraph z at the end, which is two letters, but this one is z. So sometimes, well, most of the time, sorry, we find it at the beginning of words. So what Miss Johnson is going to do now is have a practice writing our grapheme of the day. Remember, the grapheme is how it is how it looks, how it is written, and phoneme is how it sounds. So Miss Johnson is going to get her magic pencil and you can do it in your home learning packs at home or you can do it on a scrap piece of paper or chalk it outside, it is up to you. So we're going to go, it's a straight line across, diagonal down and straight across and have another go, straight across, down and straight across. So it is z and it is a lonely grapheme so it's on its own it is not a digraph so we will put a dot underneath okay if you'd like to put a dot underneath yours you're more than welcome to if you do lots of z remember to put finger spaces in between because it helps us when we start writing sentences okay so what we are going to do today is miss johnson is going to do jumping phonics and i'm going to also make some nonsense words with it so i hope you enjoy so, Miss Johnson's got some sounds out on the floor, some graphemes, so we'll have a little look at them and then we're going to jump to segment and blend our word. Let's have a look at the first sound. Ready? Three, two, one. Z, E, B, R, A. Zebra. Now we've got our next word. Have a little look at the sounds, starting from the bottom. Z, a, p. 
zap, z, a, p, zap. Now I've only changed the middle grapheme here to have a little look. And let's start jumping. Z, i, p, zip, z, i, p, zip. Have a little look at our next word. We've got a digraph in the middle. Ooh in moon. And let's start jumping. Z, ooh, m. Mm. Zoom. Z, ooh, m. Mm. Zoom. Now I'm making some nonsense words today. So let's have a go at this one. Z, ooh, B. Zoob. Z. U. B. Zoob. Another nonsense word. Have a little look. Remember, do not make it into a real word. Z. E. M. Zem. Z. E. M. Zem. It sounds like them, but it's not got the th for thumb. So try not to make it into a real word because it's nonsense. Z, e, m, zem. I hope you enjoyed um, jumping phonics today. What Miss Johnson's going to do now with you is we're going to have a go at applying it into a sentence. So we'll need our robot arms to use and um, to segment and blend unfamiliar words, words that we do not recognise. Remember, if you recognise the word and know what it is straight off the top of your head, you're more than welcome to just read the whole sentence or read that whole word. So hopefully a sentence will be coming up on the bottom. And we'll have a little look at the first word. Warm those robot arms up. Freeze. Now look at the first word. Okay, let's have a go at segmenting about it. Three, two, one. K -a -n. Can. Can. Tricky word. You. Well done. We've done this one a lot. Can you. Now, it has our grapheme or of the day. It also has a digraph in there. And I'll give you a clue because this digraph makes a o and a oo sound. In this one, it's making oo. Okay. So, three, two, one. Z, oo, m. Mm. Zoom. Well done. Back to the beginning of the sentence. Can you zoom? Tricky word. Two. Can you zoom to another tricky word? We can't segment and blend them. The, can you zoom to the last one? Three, two, one. M, u, n. Moon, so this is a question. Can you zoom to the moon? Yes, can you zoom to the moon? Or no, can you not zoom to the moon? If you are an astronaut, definitely we can zoom to the moon. So it's up to you what you'd like to be when you're older. Miss Johnson doesn't want to zoom to the moon. I'm scared of heights, but it's up to you whether you want to be an astronaut when you are older. You may zoom to the moon. What Miss Johnson would like you to have a go at now is have a go at practicing um, writing either a word, a phrase, a sentence using our grapheme of the day. You could write one of the words from Jumping Phonics. Um, it could be a nonsense word if you like, make your own. Um, it could be zap, zoom, zigzag, um, zebra. Um, you could also make a zebra and write um, the word with it to match because it is z for zebra. You can also write a phrase like black and white zebra, um, big zebra, or you could write a sentence using our tricky word of the week, all, okay, which I'm going to say the sound out loud, but we wouldn't normally do it, just so you know, it is a l l a l l okay, that make our tricky word, all, so you could write, they all zoom to the moon, they all zap, each other. <laughs> it is up to you. You could come up with your own. Remember, if you do phonics work at home, get an adult to take a snapshot, take a picture and pop it up on tapestry so the Beast and Field staff can like and comment on the amazing stuff that you are doing at home. I hope you've enjoyed Jumping Phonics today. Remember, you can do Jumping Phonics at home. It's not just Miss Johnson. You can make your own game at home um, and also you could pop that on tapestry too. So keep an eye on the Beast and Fields website um, for more videos coming up and I'll see you very soon. Bye.